Hey guys, it's Vexor Games TV here, back again with another video. And in today's video, we're going to be starting a new series. Um, it has been a long time uh, since I've uploaded, but um, I'm going to be starting a new series here on the channel. And what we're going to be doing is, we're going to be creating a no money spend squad on, well, I've already created it from the players who... These are more likely from challenges or like rewards that I've unlocked and like I haven't spent any money um, between these players particularly as obviously here um, I have my own team with players who I have bought but uh, some of them I haven't bought on here like Larry Nance for example but um, for those who don't know what No Money Spent Squad is uh, a no money spend squad is basically where you haven't spent any money on the game and you don't buy, you're not allowed to buy players from the auctions, the auction house, and the only way you can um, use these players are from locker codes or rewards as you can see in here. Um, I have tokens in the top right corner, I've got 47 tokens and I could get one of these but for now we're going to be saving up for this right here the 12 days of given 75 token pack which gives us a free pink diamond and i hope you guys like this video and remember to subscribe and we're going to get into some triple threat in this video because um we have an event going on right now and two chances to open the vault after every winning triple threat so um basically triple threat is a 3v3 game mode in nba 2k and i'm going to be playing with um larry nance cj mccollum and let's go with which players do we have who we can use hmm Let's go with Ja Morant and then we can then we can run big man with uh, Larry Nance who can grab our rebounds. Um hopefully I mean I have said this in the past where this series has not been successful like with different things. And what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna try to keep my uploads consistent. Hopefully we can carry on this series and yeah, hopefully I know I've said hopefully a lot, but that that's just a word that um, sticks in my head every day because sometimes I can't promise these videos. But um, yeah, hopefully, again, said the same word over like 50 times. But let's see if we can upload a lot more of these videos. So I'm just going to be playing about two games of Triple Threat, um, which is a 3v3 game mode like I've said and I've just been absolutely demolished there but I'm mainly going to be shooting threes with McCollum because I put a, I put a diamond shoe on him now I am allowed to purchase consumables so that's the only thing I am allowed to do with the snow money spend squad I'm allowed to purchase consumables okay well that was our wall I will take us yeah um, <laughs> I don't know what that was right Come on, McCollum. You got this. Yeah, the, something I don't like. 2K recently changed the dribble moves, and it's really, like, annoying me right now, because I have not been lucky with all these 2K, like, different changing settings every single update. So, some updates are good, some updates are bad. Depends on what the situation is. But, um, I'm just going to continue playing, because... I ain't gonna complain. I've got a decent squad so far, and I hope to continue getting these dubs. Right now, though, uh, we're taking a huge L, which is the problem. So I would like to change that right quickly, please. Why am I taking contested shots? I have no clue. But no, this is what the no money spend squad is all about. Um, yeah. It, it's a lot harder than like having your normal squad because some of the players you don't really use much and but these are like for beginners out there playing 2k right now what you want to do is you want to play domination and i'll tell you why 
because domination it provides an evolution player every single time you play on all-star difficulty and that's if you win the game which is a really good head start to your my team and it will really help um you upgrade your stats as well as you continue on through nba so that's just for advice for uh new players out there just in case you needed advice obviously some people who might watch this video um obviously won't need that help but yeah um that's what we're here all about to help we're here to appreciate people and we're here to sort out this gameplay so here we go i'm taking a huge l here and i would not like to lose so could we please fix that quickly take that thank you right now we're starting to catch up two kids just selling right now good defense yes no i, I keep on getting out rebounded and i don't know what it is see i need a three right now if i don't get a three then like the game's over so come on nice right there we go no threes game right we can have a two okay right that was lucky because i definitely put a good contest on there come on mccollum please yes there's the win and a chance at a double vault here we go this is what we need right now first one we don't open the vault okay not the greatest but can we get a double chance yes we can okay right please and we can't open it still well that was a waste of a game All right, we have the ball here, first possession. Let's try this Carmelo Anthony. I don't know how good it is, but, oh. well, shouldn't have took that shot. And yeah, that's exactly what I guess. Let's drive inside, actually. This might work. And yes, finish with a bit of contact there. Well done, Anthony. And wait, what's his takeover? Sharp shooting takeover, okay. I don't think we'll get that, but, um, We'll at least have a go. That's a wide open three. Bang, there we go. 5-4 right now. Come on. Yes, nice steal. Okay, okay. I thought I nearly missed there, but never mind. We do get the steal and another two points on the scoreboard. Give me that, that's good defense. And again, every single time I get out rebounded, it's just ridiculous. Come on. Anthony, fake. Inside, no, that's not good, okay. I'm not gonna use Anthony. It, I feel like I should just use the cards I'm, I know and like I've played with the most which is why I play with CJ McCollum all the time because like I just step back and it's just bang like that <laughs> I was not expecting that but um right on cue as always McCollum so and for those who don't know how to get Diamond McCollum um he is in actually I'll show you after this game because he is in the exchange market uh, which you'll find in the extras menu, which I'll show you after this. And just to let you know, some of these like exchange rewards are really hard to get, and some of them I wouldn't recommend getting because it's just a waste of time. So okay, Larry Nance is open. Can't hit a three though. Larry Nance has only got a seventy-seven three. So, and I also got this Larry Nance from um the Triple Threat online. I got it from the Triple Threat Online board, which is really good because I can use them in the paint all the time. I mean, just driving here and just. Again, 360 dunk from uh, Larry Nance. The first dunk, first points from him, actually, I think. But right on cue again. McCollum, 
step back, bang. Got an ankle breaker, reaction on Zion, perfect. That's that's the possessions we need. We need those possessions where like we get a stutter from the defender and then we just perfectly let it go. And yeah. It's exactly what happens, but right, we only need a two. We don't need a three here game. Right, we need to find like an open chance. And I don't wanna give away the ball here just in case. Because I have done that before and I've ended up losing. Right, wide open mid, yes. That is green and that is the second game in a row one. And that is the last game in this episode. So let's see if we can get anything out of the vault. It would be a miracle to get Pink Diamond Wayne Embry, which is the new He is the new uh Pink Diamond in the new Triple Threat offline vault. Um, before it was, who was it again? Jeff Malone, but he was a diamond, so that wasn't as good before. But we don't open the vault. I feel like these odds are starting to get worse and worse. Okay, we do get the vault again. And we don't open it again. Well, um, that isn't good. Uh, I wish I could get a chance to show you, but, uh, that, would, that video would be too long. So basically, the exchange, you get a bunch of players from different packs, or like, obviously, if you buy them from the auction, which I don't do because this is a no money Sven squad um, series. What we do, um, if you've got like a duplicate, or you don't want that card, you can just send it into like the exchanges with like players who you don't need. So, say, let's say, I don't know, Pink Diamond Elton Brand. If you packed a diamond player, um, you would most likely to sell us, but say if it's a duplicate and obviously you didn't want to sell us, then you could just put it in here. And what that would do is you can't you can't redeem that card anymore. So it stays in there until obviously the rest of the game really. Until obviously you unlock this card. So you need forty cards in total just for Elton Brand, which is why some of these cards aren't worth it. The original owner means where you have to pack that player, or it's like a reward, but you, you can't use rewards in this because a reward for a reward doesn't make any sense. But that is going to do for this episode. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next No Money Spend Squad video we do. So... Peace, and I'll see you guys next time.